Hello. Hope everyone is doing well um, and is um, just having a good spring going into summer. Um, here in Virginia, it's a little breezy today and um, the sun's out, but I wish it was just a little bit warmer. So anyway, this is the Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black. It's really her second major deck and it is, um, the Golden Tarot was her uh, original one. Um, this is the one that came out last year, published by U.S. Game Systems, and it's in a gold foil embossed box. There's the back of it. Um, it's an 80 card deck, 108 page um, booklet, and let's open it up. So here's the box, kind of brown. Here's the booklet. And black and white pictures of uh, nearly all the car all the cards. Oh, and then the painting sources are here. So you can see where they came from, the different pieces. So it's sort of an art collage deck, just like the Golden Tarot. There's the box. The backs of these have um, gold. They're, it's a very shiny deck, you can see. Um, but it has US Games, 2020 US Games on each side, so it is technically reversible. And so we have the, the golden foil stars. The edges are uh, golden. And let's look at it. And the most of the cards, all the cards have just a golden border. There's nothing you can, there we go, you can see it there. So here we go. Here we have the Fool. And these are mainly Renaissance paintings that were, that were um, taken. Or, what's the word, acquired to make the deck. Um, all the cards do have this like wooden border with the like name plate on each one. So it looks like you're looking at a painting with a big a big uh, little little label there. The magician. So we have an owl, cup, a knife, a wand, a coin, and he's holding like a little bell. He has a turban on. The High Priestess. We got the scroll, the book, the moon, the pillars, the Empress. She has a swollen belly. She's got cornucopia, the rabbit, fertility, all that good stuff. The Emperor. As far as a collage deck goes, I mean, it, it really is like the Golden Tarot. It's very, uh, it's nearly seamless. It's difficult to um, actually find where, you know, where it ends and where it begins. We have the Ram's Head um, Stone Throne, the special sort of scepter, the Hierophant, very youngish Pope. He's got the mitre. He has a key around his neck. I was reading this week about the two keys, the silver and the gold, and how it is um, the um, Taurus and Virgo. One is the silver gate and one is the golden gate, and how they're opposites on the, the zodiac. So we have, um, yeah, Taurus and Taurus and, yeah, Taurus and Virgo, or Aries and Virgo. No, Taurus and Virgo, yes, I'm trying to think. And how they're, they're opposites and how they're called the Silver Gate and the Golden Gate. Um, and the keys actually reference that, but there's only one golden key there. The Lovers. I love the angel, the angel there, touching her head. She's got like a golden fruit. 
very much an Adam and Eve the chariot. Here we have this beautiful uh, portrait of Athena. Um, and there's a little bird behind her. Usually she's associated with the owl and a chariot. Strength. Wow, this, this, it looks like it's yawning and she's holding its head. Almost like its head's been twisted backwards. The hermit. We have sort of a monk with the with a cat, a deer, owl, and the lantern. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. This is a lovely Wheel of Fortune. I love this. What is that? I need to look at that. What is that? Hmm. I'm not sure what's in the wheel. But here we have the four symbols. Justice. Again, we have an owl. This time the sword is raised. And the scales are there. The hanged man. Uh, he's, yeah, he's definitely tied up to the tree. Pretty much sort of a Jesus, St. Sebastian figure. And the, and the oak tree. You can see the oak leaves, the rounded lobes. Death. Here we have two figures. And there is the rose. Time has run out. And they are, look, asleep. Death has claimed them. Or, alternately, the awake state, the sleep state, your unconscious mind, your subconscious mind. Temperance. Ah, the devil. I like the little, is that? I don't know where that's from. It's, I don't think it's Bosch. But I don't know where, that's obviously a Bacchus uh, figure with the grapes or Dionysus. Um, and we have the male and female, we have flames. He has this sort of beguiling look on his face. Oh, the tower. And there's a demon flying out of it. The crown is falling off. This is beautiful, the star. We have the water, the crown, the moon. And here is the moon. She's holding a crab. And we have two pillars. They look like caryatids. And then there's the circle there. Hey, it's the sun. We have sunflowers. We have a horse, a smiling baby, bright yellow sun. It's a cute card. Judgment. The lily's popping out of the grave. Angel with trumpet. And the world. Here again we have the four creatures. There is a male instead of a female with two batons um, and a wreath. Let me get into the minor arcana, which is organized by, here we have uh, wands, cups, swords, and coins. So let's look at them. Put this back there. Angel, two of all. Oh, this is a very good two of wands. Looking out, the globe. Definitely attention to the RWS and the very intentional pieces. Plus, I mean, these Renaissance faces are um, actually a lot of them look like they're Dutch masters, Van Eck. Van Eyck, um, 
really expressive. It's a cat. The fighting, the sparring. Six of Wands. I love that banner. I love how it's just like this. Victory wreath. Ooh. Sort of fighting them off. Here we actually have a figure, a picture of, I mean, a portrait of someone with the wands flying through the air. Beautiful landscape that is gorgeous. Green, lush. Nine of Wands. That looks like Catherine of Aragon. I think that is her. I always associate that sort of hat. You know what? I'm going to look that up. I am almost dead certain that's who that is. Let's see. Nine of Wands. We'll see how good, the, uh, how good I am. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oh, it's Jane Seymour, Queen of England. Well, it was close. By Hans Holbein the Younger. Um, Jane Seymour. Well, I was close. Ten of Wands. Bundle. Page of Wands. Here we have an illuminated book. Knight of Wands. We have a horse stag figure there. Queen of Wands. She's very pretty. Let's see, who, who is she? Uh, oh, we have some, let's see, we have some Titian. Um, oh, Peter Paul. Peter Paul Rubens. Portrait of Marchesa Brigida Spinola, Doria. It's in the National Gallery of Art in DC. I've probably walked right past it. Um, it looks like there's a lot of Titian, Holbein's, Gentileschi, Durr, Bronzino. Hmm. King of Wands. Then we move to cups. Beautiful blue, that beautiful lapis blue there. Here we have the chalice with the, the dove. And sort of hawk wings on the, uh, on the angel. Two of cups. Three of Cups, happy faces, smiling faces, friends. Or it can also be interpreted as, you know, the lovers, um, the lovers and being in love or being content. Four of Cups. Those cups look very cut and paste. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. I love the reflection of the moon, the owl. We have these hovering cups there. Nine of cups. Ten of cups. Family, content, happy, fruitful. The fish in the cup, a cat, page of cups. 
Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. Peeled Orange. Looks like a still life combined. And then we have the King of Cups. Which looks like an old Henry VIII with a sort of a meat pie or something. Swords. Tiger. Butterfly. Two of swords. Love the moon there. Ooh, her eyes. She looks like she's bugging out. Thyroid disease. Um, Three of Swords. I love that drapery. That is gorgeous. It looks just like this um, uh, Silk Tupioni. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. And here we have little butterflies or moths. Um, Depicting the element. We have baby, six of swords. Seven of swords. There's some jousting tents over there. There's a little butterfly. I didn't see one in this one. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was something in the pocket. It's just perched. Uh, blindfold, eight of swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Not looking too hot. But fine. Page of Swords. It's very melancholic. Keys, butterfly books. I like that haircut. It's a very modern haircut, actually. Queen. King. And we have coins, the last suit. And it said that there were, yes, 80 cards. So there's two extra. One is useful. The other one's sort of a title card. Ace of coins, two of coins. So we're gonna see green for earth, for painter. Four. Now five, we have the window and we have the, the sort of the lepers. They look like they're inside, not outside the building. Six of coins. Sort of measured generosity. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. Nine of coins with a falcon. And a viola, violin there. I like the look on her face, it's very expressive. Ten of coins, he's writing a document, almost like a, um, like a marriage um, nuptial or a prenup. Page of coins. Knight coins, Queen of coins, King of coins. We have the happy squirrel, which is 
essentially the little, little red squirrel, little European squirrel, crystal ball, palm reader. And then we have the touchstone tarot card. It says, Touchstone Tarot Card, tell me true what is, this is what I ask of you. Although the artists and subjects of these paintings have long since died, they may reach out to you across the centuries as they have to me. May they be 78 friends you can hold in your hand. That's nice. And she's, I guess she's supposed to be holding the deck. And there we go. That was the deck. I'm going to put it back in the box. So, uh, just like the Golden Tarot, this has its own charm. Uh, it's well done, smartly done. Um, I kind of put off buying this because, um, I don't know. I, saw, I just looked at it and I'm like, eh. I was excited for it to come out. And then when it came out, I was like, well, uh, there's other things I, I'd rather uh, purchase than this right away. And then I just decided to get this and I'm, it's nice. I like it. It's a nice solid box. I mean, you could carry this around with you in the box, but it's rather big. So what other decks do I have with me? Let's see, I got, I need to talk about the fourth edition of the Daniloff. I just got the Tildwick in this, the second edition this week. Last week I got the, um, the Doti Tarot, which I used to have, um, and then I got rid of it, I sold it. Mine was like a little book with ribbons. And this one is, um, the Resinamento Italian art. And I noticed that they, no stickers anymore. I like kind of the sticker on it. Now it's just part of the box. And this is the art edition with the, looks like a book. But then I also have this book, which I'm still going through. It's very complicated. Moon Phases, Symbolic Key. This is a red feather one. And then I have the Witch's Art of Incantation, Spoken Charm, Spells and Curses, and Folk Witchcraft, which I found very fascinating, very cool. A lot of these are Irish, which is right up my alley. And then I got this lovely gift from Red Feather. Um, they gave me a pendulum kit, which I had never bought a pendulum kit before, which is cool. Um, and they sent me a lay cloth. Um, this is their pendulum kit that they sent me. I will not be reviewing this. They said, you don't have to review this. Um, a very cool thing is it comes with these sort of cards that you put down for the different um, signs of the zodiac. And there's also like a world and globe. It's really neat. And then you get this lovely little, um, little pendulum. It's part of the kit. Um, so that's really cool. It's, a, it's actually, it's, it's, I was surprised how well done this is. Um, and the lay cloth they gave me actually kind of goes with the pendulum. Um, it's a cotton cloth. And it has the red feather logo right in the middle. Isn't that cool? It was just to thank me for reviews. So I thought that was really sweet. And the I was surprised. I was not expecting that. So that was very cool. But anyway, that was the Touchstone Tarot, which um, is uh, very nice and um, very usable, I think. Um, I would, uh, I'm going to rate this one. Overall quality is probably, a, I'd say, a solid eight. Usability, I think it's very usable. RBS, who doesn't know that? Um, beginner advanced, it could be beginner. Um, uh, because it's so easily, uh, it is, the uh, meanings are kind of muddled by the Renaissance paintings and the collage art. It's not as cut and dry as it could be. Some things are kind of hidden. Collectability? Well, it's a first edition mass produced, so maybe uh, it could be collectible at some point. It goes out of print. You know, anything that goes out of print, just poof, goes up in value. Quirks and issues? Uh, a few of the cards look very cut and paste. Um, almost like it's forced. And I don't like it when collage art looks forced, but it, I know what you gotta work with, you know? So, um, overall rating, um, I'm not like crazy ecstatic over this deck. Um, I do like it. I think it's very pretty. Will I use it? Probably not. 
uh, and uh, it's um, overall rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a six, um, just because I'm not going to use it. And um, but I do, I am quite fond of the art. Um, if I, if I was going to use this, and I was really, uh, I really found it intriguing and fascinating, I'd give it a nine. But um, since I can pick out some of the artists that the paintings have been cut out on, it kind of, you know, kind of doesn't ruin it. It just kind of makes it sort of, oh. Anyway, that's The Touch on Tarot by Cat Black. Thank you so much for watching.